Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Maddie of Maddie's Crochet Corner. Today's video is going to be part two of the yarn haul. You guys probably already watched it. If not, I'll leave a link to it down below. I'm planning on there being, I think, four parts just because like the yarn has been coming in on different at different times. Like the yarn I showed you in part one came in, I think, almost two weeks ago. Yeah, so note to self when ordering from joann's it'll come in randomly in a whole bunch of different packages which is honestly a waste of packaging but that's okay um let me show you the box it, it's massive so this this is the box it's it's full i counted yesterday and there's 33 skeins of yarn in there which is like so much yarn i never ordered this much yarn before but i used i think i spent over 500 dollars on yarn and then i've been getting more yarn here and there so i think it's around like 600 dollars more i've been getting so much yarn and i definitely don't need to order anymore for a really long long time but so all the yarn types i got were Bernat Baby Blanket, Sparkle Bernat Baby Blanket, uh, Bernat Velvet, and then Bernat Baby Velvet, as well as some Juicy Couture in there. Um, I tried ordering some of the Posh Yarn, but they are out of stock, which I'm really sad about. But I'm hoping in the next couple of months I can order, do another um, Joann's order and possibly get more of it if they have it in stock. As well as the baby bear yarn that they have i saw that it's been going around and i really want to try it it looks really really nice but of course i had to go through all of this yarn first so i'm just going to show you all of the juicy couture yarn first i got a whole bunch of different colors i think almost all of the colors that they had um and then all of them are going to be the same so i'm just going to show you i believe i did order more of the juicy couture yarn but not all of it is here i think it's coming in other packages so You'll probably see that in the next couple of parts. So this is the first color. So once again, it is the Juicy Couture yarn, 107 yards, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. And it is in the color Coral Haze. And it recommends a, what is it? A 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, which I never really follow the sizing on the packaging i just go for what i usually for something this thick which is going to be like a 4.5 um but yeah so the color is coral haze and i'm absolutely in love with it so i got one two and three in this color which i had something in mind when i ordered it what i was going to use it for but i do not remember anymore um the next color I have is, the, I got three of this color, and it is in the color Free Love, which is an interesting name, but this is the color, it's like a nice bright pink, um, I might make like axolotl, no, maybe, I don't know if these two pinks go that well together, but I have other pinks I can mix with it, I think the Burnett Velvet will work mesh really well with it so we'll see how that turns out then the three other colors i only got one of these of each of these colors so this is their green color it's called super greens which honestly this name does fit it it does look like super greens um so i got colors for a turtle possibly um we'll guess i only ordered one of them so I think I'm gonna make a turtle out of them. This color is called Plonk. I think I said that right, but it's kind of like a deep brown, almost like a burgundy color, um, but it's a really nice color. And the last one, I have another one of these I had gotten, I think in October of 2023. Um, and I just ordered another one. So this color is called Angel. It is, wow you can't really see it okay that's better this is just like a nice cream white color kind of has a creamy tone to it not really but so that is all of the juicy couture yarn that i got i got six nine skeins of juicy couture so 
I'll go ahead and show you the Bernat Baby Blanket Sparkle now. And then all of the Bernat blankets I'm going to show you are going to be the same, except for obviously the velvet's not going to be the same, but I'll just say it for all of these big skeins. So it is, let's see, it recommends an 8mm crochet hit crochet hook it is 220 yards 10.5 ounces and 300 grams this is in the color hot pink sparkle which definitely fits it i was thinking of making some axolotls in this color because i have some other pinks that would go really really well with it but that's hot pink sparkle then i have this one it's like their white color and it's called moonlight sparkle which now that i look at it it does have a like a moonlight i guess color um but it is a little bit more creamy in person it kind of has like a yellow hue to it um but it is really really nice and i cannot wait to get started on making things with them i got four different colors of the sparkle i think i have more i think i got one of each color and they'll come in the mail later you'll probably see them in the next parts this one is called seaside sparkle which definitely fits it this is so gorgeous I might make a sparkly turtle out of it. We shall see. And then the last burnout sparkle that I got is this yellow. It's going to make some really nice bees. The color is golden sparkle, which definitely fits it. I'm hoping you guys can see the sparkles on camera. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really excited to use the seaside sparkle. So that's all of the burnout baby blanket sparkle that I got. And then now onto the regular burnout blanket that I got. So I was running low on this pink color. So I got a, went ahead and got one of them. I probably should have got two. I think I actually did get two, but I don't know. It's just like a whole bunch of different yarn that I got. This color is in baby pink. I use these for axolotls. So the sparkle will go with this guy. And it is a really nice baby pink and it's super, super soft. Then I got a blue. I use this blue for whales. I already have some, but only in the small skeins. Um, because that's all of the my yarn store, my local yarn store sells is the small skeins, which I really wish they didn't. But they do did start having bigger skeins now, like these ones right there, and which I'm really happy about, but only in certain colors. A lot of solid colors, which I'm happy about. But yeah, so I'm gonna be making I think another hippo. I made a hip a custom some order hippo in this color and i really really liked it and i want to go ahead and make a couple in different colors as well as uh there is an elephant pattern that i tested recently and i want to go ahead and make one out of this one um but yeah so i don't think i said the color name but it is baby blue and i'm absolutely in love with this one i love all of their like the baby colors um that's just like some of my favorite colors Next we have, I think I've gotten this one before. It's in the color sea foam. I'm pretty sure I made a bunny out of it before and it's really, really pretty. It's more of a green um, color. It's kind of like the baby blue, but not really. It's more of a green. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that one's really pretty. I may make some turtles out of that one. And then I have, I ordered two of these from Joann's and I wasn't expecting it, this package to come in until next week and i needed the color so i went ahead and ordered one from amazon and they both came in on the same day so i now have three of them which is kind of good because i am going to be planning on making a lot of turtles in the future because they are my best seller which honestly makes sense because you know it's hawaii <laughs> um but yeah so i have three of these technically two from joann's and one from amazon and this is in the color misty jungle green i already made something out of the one I got from Amazon, at least I think it's the one from Amazon. I kind of just jump, jumbled them all together and then organized them. Um, but yeah, so it is a really, really pretty green. I actually have the turtle behind my camera. Let me go ahead and grab it and show you. But this was a free pattern that I found on Instagram and I've been wanting to make a couple of them. So I made one yesterday and I'm planning on making maybe three of them before my next market, which is on Sunday, but I have to finish some orders first i don't i honestly i'm not sure if i'm gonna be going to the market on sunday we shall see i don't really have a lot of stock um but yeah so it is you guys have probably seen it but it still needs eyes of course i think i'm just gonna sew them on um but it is like 
a backpack turtle, I guess you can call it that. And the shell comes off to reveal it has a butt. I am in love with this. I will be making an everything I crocheted recently video and I will be putting this in there. And then I'll go ahead and put all of the patterns in the description so you guys will see that later. Um, but yeah, I definitely plan on making more of these turtles. I'm hoping they sell well at my market. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm in love with this guy so much. And, it's, and it sits down by itself. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, so I got three of this color. That is all of the Burnout Baby Blanket that I got. All I have left is now the um, Burnout Baby Velvet and the Burnout Velvet. Let me go ahead and show you all of the burnout velvet first and then we can get into the burnout baby velvet so i got three of these colors because i use them for turtle shells for my smaller size turtles but i'll go ahead and show you all of like the ratio for it so it's 10.5 ounces 300 grams 315 yards and it suggests a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook i personally use a 4.5 i find that it doesn't have holes in it like if you use a 6.5 um but yeah so the color is in mushroom i find this is the best color for turtles and i absolutely love this love it but yeah i'm really excited and then let me got the baby velvet this is a velvet uh velvet this is another velvet uh and then I think the rest is in it. Okay. I'm just talking to myself now. Okay. I'll go ahead and show you all of the velvet yarn. So I got two in this white color. I think I already have one, but I just got it just in case because I will be using more white soon. But yeah, so this is in just white. I have two of them. I don't know how I'm going to find any room for all of this yarn. I think it's just going to live in the box in my closet for now. Then this one is my favorite color. I'm absolutely in love with this. Even my mom said it was her favorite color, but it definitely fits its name. The color is pomegranate and I love it so, so much. But yeah, I'm excited to use this. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but of course I'm going to find a way. Then the last burnout velvet I have is in the color pine, which yeah definitely fits it i use these for turtles as well and then for any other thing i may need a green for but yeah that is all the burnout velvet now onto the burnout baby velvet so i think the ratio is same so i'm just gonna go ahead and say it anyways so it's 10.5 ounces 300 grams 492 yards and it re suggests a five millimeter crochet hook so this is in the color purple pansy i'm honestly not sure why i got this i think i just got it to have it just in case i wanted to use it in the future um but i really like this it is a nice purple color and i love the, the way that the velvet yarn feels it's just one of my favorite yarns to just feel and honestly to use as i'm crocheting next up we have i have another one of these but I'm going to start using these to make some scrumps, which I'm really excited to start using. I made a couple before in, is it up there? No, it's not. I made, but I made a couple before in the Retro Velvet from Premiere. And I just figured that I, I was using that for turtles and people have been ordering turtles in, what well, not like for my Etsy but like in wholesale orders and I've just been using that and I'm running low and I don't think I'll have enough to make scrumps but anyways I'm going to be using this to make scrumps and it is in the color bleached aqua and I love it so much this is also another one of my favorite colors of this and second to last color I have this is I think it's I was going to say teddy bear but the color is chocolate um this is just another brown that i'll have just in case i need it for anything i'm not sure what just i got it mainly just to have but it is a really nice color it definitely fits its name a nice chocolate color then the last yarn color that i got i got two of it 
because I'm going to be using these to make bow turtles and I've got two of them. This is the light color I have. I already have two skeins of the darker color, which is the shell color, so I needed this. Also, the white is for these turtles as well. I totally forgot that that's in there, but this is the color after Ever After Pink, which I love that name. Honestly, I love the names of all of these yarns, but it is such a really, really pretty yarn. But anyways, that is all of the yarn for part two of my yarn haul. I'm not sure how many more skeins I'm expecting. I know it's going to be quite a few, maybe like 10 to 20, but we shall see. And I'm so excited to get started on using the, all of this yarn. I have to figure out a way how to fit all of it in my room now. Um, so we shall see. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more just like this one. And don't forget to comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!